What's going on, YouTube? It is that time of week again. NFL predictions, week four, point spreads, picking games, you know what I mean. So, last week I didn't do too good, 9 7. Compared to the second week, I did real bad, but um, did fall below 500, so I still consider that a good week. But, anyways. Got some matchups this week that uh, pretty good. Some suck, but uh, it's just the way it goes sometimes. We're gonna start with Thursday night. I like the fact that they made Thursday night football. You know, instead of just Thanksgiving or first week of the season, that they made it every single week. That's pretty cool. We get more football action. Our first game of the week is uh, San Francisco 49ers on the road, giving three to the St. Louis Rams. San Francisco has looked god awful terrible last two weeks. They've looked absolutely atrocious. However, that being said, St. Louis didn't look too good at Dallas last week. Matter of fact, they looked horrible. But um, this is an individual game. Let me tell you something right now. I, I watched the way the St. Louis Rams played the Niners last year. They tied them once and beat them the second time. So I think St. Louis and their division is pretty damn tough. So this is an upset. I like St. Louis at home. I like St. Louis. I think Jeff Fisher is going to put a defense together. I just think the 49ers look bad right now, people. Both these teams need to win bad, especially the way Seattle's playing. Both these teams really need to win bad, but I like St. Louis at home, believe it or not. Taking the upset. Take St. Louis. Might regret that, but that's the way it goes. Now this game here, Baltimore on the road giving three and a half to the Buffalo Bills. I gotta tell you, Baltimore shocked me last week. They really did. I did not think they were going to beat the Texans. Not only did they beat them, they killed them. So, um, and the Texans actually don't have a bad defense. Matt Schaub, I mean, honestly, is to me is one is an overrated quarterback. I mean, he's good, but he they make it sound like he's Tom Brady, and he's not. So um, take uh, Baltimore in this case. Buffalo Bills got a young team. EJ Manuel's not that bad, but it's going to take them a couple years. I, but I like Buffalo to keep it close. I think they'll keep it within ten. But I like the Ravens on the road to win. Ravens actually don't look that bad right now. So take the Ravens. Tampa Bay, Arizona, who cares? I mean, fuck, really, who cares? Tampa Bay's at home getting three to Arizona. I like Tampa Bay to get their first win here at home against Carson Palmer and that fucking Arizona Cardinal team that fucking supposedly is supposed to be very good this year, and they, they're not going to be because you got, first off, Carson Palmer's your quarterback, number one. Uh, take Tampa Bay in this game. You know Josh Freeman and Tampa Bay suck, but I just like Tampa Bay on the road right now. Uh, at home, at home to get their first win. This is a game in London. Why the fuck do we keep playing games overseas? Like, the fucking UK really cares about NFL football. Well, they might, but seriously, if you're the Vikings right now, you got to us losing a game. Of course, the way your season's going right now, you probably could care less. Um, pick em game, Pittsburgh, Minnesota. Now, before the season started, this looked like a good game. This game fucking sucks. The Steelers suck. The Vikings are fucking atrocious, too. I really could give a shit. Who gives a shit about this game, really? I mean, Christ. And it's like, wow. When was the last time the Steelers played in a game that people can say they don't give a shit about? Um, I like the Vikings in this game, believe it or not, because believe it or not, Vikings could have beat Chicago. They could have beat Cleveland last week. The Steelers really haven't been in any game so far this season. Um, so, Steelers fans dropped to 0-4. I think, I think it's going to happen. I like the Vikings with Adrian Peterson. I think he's going to run over that Steelers defense, and I think the Vikings get their first win here. And the Steelers dropped to 0-4, and it's like, oh my god, this could be the worst season I've ever seen the Pittsburgh Steelers have, honestly. Take out the Vikings. Kansas City at home giving four to the New York Giants. The Giants are god-awful terrible. They are horrible right now. Kansas City's a real deal, people. I underestimated them last week. Kansas City's a real deal. You just got to respect them. They're at home against the Giants that fucking got killed by Carolina. I like the Chiefs at home. I think... I think Giants keep it closer than most people think, but because Giants, no matter how bad they are, they seem they always seem to have a good team. I like the Chiefs at home, though. Chiefs are on a roll right now. I, I don't see them losing at home, especially to the 0-3 Giants. Take the Chiefs. Indianapolis giving eight to Jacksonville. Come on, guys. Jacksonville's garbage. Indianapolis is going to slaughter that team. I know it's an individual game, in, in divisional game, but uh, don't matter. Jacksonville's horrible. Colts coming off that big win at San Fran last week. Take the Colts. They're going to slaughter Jacksonville. Uh. Seattle giving three to the Houston Texans. Now, I thought about this game for a long, long time. Houston got embarrassed on the road last week. They're at home now. Seattle struggles on the road, it always seems. Um, but I'm taking a risk. I'm taking Seattle three points because I believe Seattle is a better team than the Texans right now. 
I believe Russell Wilson's pretty good. I believe Seattle's defense is good. I like Seattle on the road. Although it would not shock me if the Texans won this game, but I like Seattle on, on the road. Cincinnati giving five to Cleveland. I said it before and I will say it again. I am not underestimating the Browns one bit. The Browns front seven is no joke, people. Browns front seven is really good. Uh, probably even better than the Bengals right now. But I'm taking my team, of course. The Bengals take the game. In a game they really should have won last week at Green Bay. I, I'm even saying that, and I'm a Bengals fan. But um, rallying from that 30-14, to 14, uh, when they were trailing the Packers, 30-14, rally back, come back and win. Um, Bengals ain't going to play that bad again, I wouldn't think. So take the Bengals on the road and beat the Browns. Uh, Detroit giving three to Chicago. I like the Lions in this game. I like the Lions to hand Chicago their first loss. Look, Chicago got lucky week one. They got lucky to play the old-ass Pittsburgh Steelers team last week. The Lions, I like the Lions. I think it's, it's going to be a high-scoring game, but I like the Lions at home to beat the Bears. Tennessee giving five at home to the uh, New York Jets. New York Jets don't look that bad, but Tennessee at home. Tennessee, Tennessee don't look that bad, people. They really don't. Their defense looks pretty damn good. Jake Locker, I'm not a believer in, but their defense looks good. And I think their defense will give them a win here. Take Tennessee at home to win. Washington, Washington giving three and a half to Oakland. Who cares? Not again, who cares? Take Oakland at home. I don't believe in the Redskins. I think the Redskins are done. I really do. If they ain't done, if they ain't done coming into this week, if they can't beat the Raiders, they're done. And I, don't get me wrong, the Raiders sadly had the misprivilege of playing Broncos last week, who are uh, uncontrollably tough right now. And so I'll take the Raiders at home. I think the Raiders are going to end Washington's season this week. I think it's over. Take the Raiders. Denver at home giving 10.5 to the Philadelphia Eagles. If you're the Philadelphia Eagles, how do you prepare for something like Denver right now, especially on the road? The answer is you can't. Denver's on a roll. Take Denver with the 10.5 points to cover that 10.5 point line. Denver will probably win this game 41 to 41 17. Denver's just on a roll. Can't pick against them right now. Dallas give, on the road giving two to San Diego. Hmm. I don't know. Had a great game last week, but could this be another week where Dallas just fucking, whatever reason, just plays like shit again? But, um,. Take Dallas, Tony Romo and Dallas on the road. I don't, believe, I don't think San Diego's that good, so take uh, the Cowboys on the road, taking a risk. But this could spiral out of control again. Dallas could mess up, but take Dallas on the road. Sunday night, New England giving one to Atlanta. Atlanta needs this game bad. Um, nobody thought they'd lose to the Dolphins last week, and they did, myself included. I did pick the Dolphins on an upset, but I did not think in a million years Dolphins were going to win that game, and they did. Um... Take New England. You know, I don't think New England's as tough as they used to be. I think Tom Brady will carve up that defense. I don't think Matt Ryan's going to be able to match points with uh, Tom Brady. So, take the Patriots, go 4-0. And, oh. and the Falcons, 1-3. and three. They're going to drop to 1-3, and three, and I think they're done, too. Take the Patriots. In our final game of the week, the game of the week, in my opinion, battle of undefeated, both these teams 3-0. and oh. Miami's on the road in New Orleans. New Orleans is given 5.5. Gotta be honest with you, New Orleans is at home. That's the problem here. New Orleans is tougher than shit at home. I don't think Miami's gonna go in there and although I, nobody thought Miami was gonna be Atlanta last week and they did. But uh, I like Miami to keep it close. I don't think I, I'm not thinking Miami will win the game, but I like Miami to keep it close. If Miami wins this game, let me tell you something. They're going a long way this year if they win this game. I still think they're going a ways anyway. But they can beat the Saints on the road. That's the ultimate test. Drew Brees in that hostile environment. But sadly, sorry Dolphin fans, I picked you in upset last week, but I can't pick you on the road against New Orleans. I would love to see you win, don't get me wrong, but I like New Orleans Saints at home. Saints are just tougher than shit at home. And our bye weeks are the Panthers and the Packers. So, first bye weeks of the year. There you got it, people. There's my week four picks. Hopefully my team pulls out a win. Um... But if they play like they did last week, I'm here to tell you, I don't think they will. Um, so take, uh, or not take, uh, so there's your pick, sorry. But uh, there you have it, guys, and I'll get you more videos, and go Bengals, and good luck to all your teams.